Hello friends, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. Today I am playing CM Country Club. They have quite a few nine holes here. We're starting off with the tapioca hole. Speaking of tapioca, I really want bubble tea. <laughs> but our next destination, wink wink, is going to have so much bubble tea because it is the birthplace of bubble tea. <laughs> CM Country Club has five different golf courses with the old course being the most famous. Today's video is at the Plantation Course in Pattaya. The Plantation Course has three nine-hole courses named Sugarcane, Tapioca, and Pineapple. In 2008, the Plantation Course hosted the LPGA Thailand event and Lorena Ochoa was the winner. Let's jump right in to hole number one on the Tapioca Course, par 4, 347 yards from the white tees. This hole is straightforward, a little uphill. I actually hit a pretty good drive here and still had 200 yards left to the green. So I wonder if the tee markers are further back than usual. The second shot, I pulled it just a bit and ended up in the bunker on the left of the green. Oh. <laughs> well, it happens. <laughs> Hole number two, par five, 500 yards. Off the tee, you'll want to stay on the left side of the fairway for a better view on your next shot. There are lots of trees on the right, halfway up to the hole, followed by water on the right side as well. Nice. I actually hit a really good clean oh. shot here, but the greens have false fronts, making it difficult to stop the ball. My ball ended up rolling down the hill behind the green, and I hit this one too hard also. Please don't click off this video, I start playing more normally after this hole and trust me, you'll want to see the rest of the golf course. Hole number 3 is a par 3 playing 172 yards. Like a lot of courses in Thailand, the par 3s have a yardage sign indicating the distance to the pin for the day. I have my 22 degree hybrid in hand. This shot flared out to the right side and into the rough, but there's no water here so it's all good. There is a group of four ahead of these two, so we're all backed up. Hole number four is a big par five, 520 yards dog leg right. As you can see, the fairway slopes to the right, so it's best to aim up the left side. Not quite <laughs> as far left as me though. On the second shot, the hole gets a bit scary. The right side is a big drop off area. I believe this used to be a water pond that dried up. Good thing I stayed on the left with my 5 wood here and just stayed short of the bunkers. Unfortunately, I didn't utilize the beautiful fairways on this par 5, but I still reached the green in regulation. That's all that matters, right? There's the 4. The 2 that just teed off. We did hit a bit of traffic here. This is a very popular golf course, so I'm not surprised. Hole number five, par four, 337 yards. Over a massive sand trap in front of the tee deck. Dog leg left, no water on this hole, except there is another giant bunker on the left side on your second shot into the green. I landed right here. But it rolled out. Oh, 
Hit that like button for me as we turn it around after that rough start. Hole number six, par four, 354 yards. Dog leg right, handicap one hole on the tapioca course. Off the blue tees, you'll have to hit over water. From the white tees, it's safe to cut the corner by going over the cluster of bunkers on the right side. For your approach shot, you can see how the green sits on a little mount, and the bunkers on the right is quite steep and unpleasant. I was happy I carried that bunker. <laughs> I decided to putt this one, uh, but didn't hit it quite hard enough. We are free! The group of four let both our group and the tombstone in front of us through, so we should be normal speed now. <laughs> Hole number 7, short par 3, playing 116 yards. Lots of bunkers on the left, fairway on the right. And then one solo bunker on the right just for fun. Wind kicked in mid-flight, so I ended up short of the green. Join me. You can see how smoothly the greens transition to the fairway. Chip and a putt for par. Hole number eight, par four, 385 yards. Water down the left, followed by a bunker. After the tee shot, the hole continues straight forward with a few bunkers. I pulled this one a bit left and then took a bad bounce off the slope. Again, the greens are a little uphill from the fairway, so make sure you have enough club. That's going to be a trend throughout today. I hit this chip really solid up the hill. Where'd it go? Good? Okay. Scrappy golf. And yes, that is a fresh mosquito bite because they seem to love me more than anyone else. Let's continue to hole number 9, par 4, 355 yards. This was a pretty solid golf shot, thank you very much. It's concerning that there needs to be a sign for this, but please remember to be kind and considerate towards the caddies. They are here to help us. They are all extremely nice. I honestly have never encountered a caddy who is not friendly and not nice. They are all amazing humans. Let's all be kind to one another. It doesn't cost you anything extra. The fairway opens up ahead, but stay on the left side to give yourself a better view on your approach shot. And again, rolled off the green because these greens roll so nicely. I always take a high lofted 60 degree wedge and make sure to land it short so that it can roll out a bit. Now we are playing the pineapple course. The pineapple course I found to be a little more difficult and more interesting than tapioca. Let me know if you've played this golf course before and which of the nine holes is your favorite. Also let me know if you've played sugarcane and how it compares to pineapple and tapioca. Let's get started with hole number one on pineapple, par four. The actual yardage here is more than 287. Same thing happens on multiple holes. Dog leg left. Aim for the small bunker or just right of it. Going right like I did will make this hole a lot longer. This putt was straight downhill. I barely tapped the ball and watched it roll slowly towards the hole. 
Hole number two is a par five. It says 475 yards on the scorecard, but the yardage on the plate on the tee deck actually says 537. Maybe it's time to update the scorecard. What do we think? <laughs> There are lots of bunkers scattered up ahead, very narrow fairway on this hole. I hit a slice here, otherwise I would have a perfect on the left side of the fairway. This shot was very fat, but it's all good, par 5, we're still in the fairway. Hello there baby draw, my old friend. Luckily the green slopes left to right from where my ball landed and the ball rolled towards the hole. The caddy and I were both impressed. Alrighty, hole number 3 playing 170 yards. The tee deck was on a slant with your front foot lower. This really got to me. I personally like the challenge of these long flop shots, but I'd rather be on the green. <laughs> it does feel really good to get the right distance. I really thought the slope would take it down, but it stopped. Hole number 4, par 4, dog leg left, 343 yards. There is a yellow marker between the two rows of bunkers that the caddy told me to aim at. Right at the yellow mark that she said. There are a few bunkers around the green. I almost rolled back into one of them. Very awkward stance. <laughs> Emotional damage! Ah, uh, I'm only human. Hole number 5, par 4, 316 yards, dog leg left. Nothing much to it, I hit a high fade, but I got away with it because it's a short and pretty open par 4. Remember, the greens are higher than the fairway, so remember to club up. I ended up just short and in the bunker. Hole number 6, par 5, 512 yards, dog leg left. Bunkers on the left for your tee shot and then lots of water up the left side to the green. Unfortunately, this ball landed too close to the water and hopped in. Some of these greens are quite large if you haven't noticed. If you want to lose weight, come to Thailand and play golf. Or actually just stand outside in April or May. Because <laughs> I think I've lost 5 pounds probably, eating more than normal and just sweating. <laughs> This video clip was very cropped and uh, I couldn't straighten it in the frame. Apologies. Hole number 7 here on the pineapple course is a par 4, 382 yards. 
dog leg left again very open off the tee and then there is a water creek to go over for your approach shot Hole number eight, par three, playing 139 yards, front pin. Bunkers on the left and water on the right. If you hit it too hard, make sure to also hit the pin. Final hole number 9, par 4, 361 yards. Pretty much just full send straight ahead, aiming at the little bunker in the distance. Whenever I get tired, I start hitting weak fades or these bigger draw shots. I was chipping with my 60 degree and landed it just short. This was a really good chip. Hi, I'm done. My arm sweat. <laughs> That's a wrap. He got two birdies today. Many bogeys, but we won't we won't talk about that. <laughs> two birdies. I had I think I had one birdie, maybe. Right as we got to 18, we drove past the starter and there were honestly like 20 carts waiting to get on the golf course. So I think we just missed the rush. We got to skip over the group of four and the rest of the round was pretty much easy breezy, got through quite quickly, which is nice because, you know, it's hot. The caddies do give you this cup with ice um, and they fill it up, refill it with ice at every stop. So that is so helpful but you do have to bring your own water for most of the golf courses we just went to 7-eleven and got the big bottle and then just kept refilling my little ice cup overall i would say this golf course is quite enjoyable to play less water more bunkers than some of the other courses we played would you agree with that yeah yeah and i think it's quite flat a lot of the a lot of the holes are uphill from the fairway to the green but overall, not too much, you know, up and down. Not too many tee boxes that are way up or way below the green. Three hours and 20 minutes. We finished in three hours and 20 minutes. That's good. Only at 12, 15. And that's, because, and that's even with the first, like, seven holes of being backed up quite a lot. From the white tees, we played tapioca and pineapple today, and it was just over 6,100 yards. Again, for this golf course, they do have a yellow tee that is shorter than white and longer than red tees, so that could be a good in-between if you're not comfortable with some of the par fours that are quite long uphill playing over 400 yards. So that's the only thing. I honestly think I played pretty good, I mean, other than the beginning, but we'll just, we'll skip past that. Yeah, it's really hot outside. Had a great time today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you've played this golf course before, what other golf courses you would recommend around Pattaya. All of them have been in excellent condition. We are entering low season because it's so hot outside, but I would highly recommend you guys come in, you know, maybe March or November time area. Those are good times to come here. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!